In the past week, O.J. Simpson's bid to get out of prison while trying to appeal his armed robbery conviction was turned down. News that came as a great relief to Christy Prody, the woman who shared her life with Simpson after he was acquitted of the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman. We're going to hear from Christy in a moment, but first, our Andrew Canning tells us her story. She stood by O.J. for 13 years, but now Christy Prody says she feared for her life. Prody claims O.J. subjected her to constant physical and emotional abuse and even threatened to kill her, something he denies. It was a relationship few could understand, with bizarre beginnings. Prody says she first met O.J. in 1995 outside his Brentwood estate. Like thousands of others, she had gone to the popular tourist attraction, curious about the murders of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. O.J. approached her, and the Minnesota-born cocktail waitress, 30 years his junior, quickly fell in love. They later moved to Florida together, but the romance turned rocky. Prody says O.J. constantly compared her to Nicole and convinced her to get breast implants to look more like his deceased ex-wife. Police were even called four times to intervene in their relationship. During one of their well-publicized blow-ups, O.J. called 911 from Prody's apartment. Where's your emergency? We have a problem here. I'm trying to get a girl to go to rehab. We've been doing drugs for two days. Prody says she's convinced O.J. committed the murders based on comments he made over the years, claiming he told her details only the killer would know. Still, present. she supported him throughout his trial for armed Nevada, robbery and kidnapping, but she's not standing by O.J. anymore. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News. I spoke with Christy Prody and her attorney, Gloria Allred, earlier this morning. Christy and Gloria, thank you both for joining us this morning. Um, you were, what, 19 years old when you first met O.J. Simpson. He had um, just been acquitted for the murders of his wife and Ron Goldman. A lot of people would ask, why did you get involved with him in the first place? Very young, very naive, confused. Did your family or friends, were they mm -hmm. saying, hey, what are you thinking here? Yes, all of them. You said that he, he wanted you to, to look like Nicole, his, his previous wife. What were some things that he asked you to do? Oh, just the way I would dress, the way I'd wear my hair. Uh, minor things. But it was always back about Nicole. Knowing him as you do, Christy, do you believe that he killed his wife? Yes, I do now. It took me many years to realize and face that hard, <laughs> terrible truth. But yeah, now I do. Absolutely. And why now do you? Things he's mentioned about Nicole, about her having had it coming because of her lifestyle and who she hung out with, mainly Ron Goldman, I guess. You did try to leave him. Oh, absolutely. Um, Several times. What happened when you tried to do that? He would find me. I, I couldn't leave. I didn't have anywhere to go. O.J.'s attorney um, said the facts are just inconsistent with what Christy is saying, and those close to Simpson talk about your drug use. Is any of this true? Yes, I was in treatment. You I were? checked myself into treatment after a couple of years of um, being depressed and dealing with my depression in a way of substance abuse. Gloria, why are you here today? What is it that you want to get across? Well, Christie's message is that addictive love can be very, very dangerous to a woman's health. He had the power in the relationship. She was dependent upon him. And he manipulated her. And her life was literally in danger. So what some women think is love 
can actually lead to a life and death situation. Christy, fortunately, got out with her life. Nicole was not so fortunate. Christy, do you worry that if OJ gets out of jail, are you still fearful? Are you still fearing for your life with him, because of him? I was. Now I realize I don't think he's getting out. At least we hope not. <laughs> Christy, tell us about your life now. My life now is absolutely great. I'm in love with a wonderful man, and we have a beautiful baby daughter, and things can be better. Well, Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I know how difficult it was for you to speak out. And uh, Gloria, thank you for being here with her, thank with us. Know. Appreciate it greatly, and hopefully it will help. It will help all others. All the best to you going forward. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>